Hi. Hello, Again. everyone. Mike just had dinner and he says, where is your dinner so I can have some as yeah. well? He wants more dinner. Um, so this is the second part of this weekend haul. Let's do, buckle up. But this is the video for Kim and Kristen, my new queens. Hello. Yes. On Mike day sees. two of our Bins like extravaganza weekend, Bins we met we Kim. And Kim was amazing. And she unfortunately, so we didn't meet Kristen. And Kristen tried, tried to FaceTime you, but took a selfie so for you. Okay. I know you watch like all of our videos and comment on all of them. It was really early. So Love we're you. We're not. This one's for you, sisters. Yes. This is what we found on the day that we met Kim. So let's just dive into it. This time it's just bin stuff. It's, so all this is bin's pricing. It's a lot. <laughs> First off, I found some Lily Pulitzer sandals. Very out of season, very out of whack, but just keep them bent for a little while and they'll fix right up. Missing one stone, but that's okay with me. Not Lily Pulitzer Target, it's Lily Pulitzer. Lily Pul is it Lily Pulitzer or Lily Pulitzer? Pulitzer. But whatever. Hmm. New brand, I guess that's Bolo. I just thought these looked kind of cool, so I wanted to Google them. It's called Stubbs and Wooten. Wooten? Wooten. It's like a small Palm slipper. Beach. I, since I say Palm Beach and they look like a slipper, I almost thought they were like a free hotel gift. But it's like, it's like a But it's so. made in Spain in genuine leather. These are like 560 bucks new. It's and people cool. sell them for like. Hundred and some? Okay, don't recommend. They don't fit. I got, I'm having a Cinderella moment. But yeah, and if you're a men's size nine or a woman's that like 11. Or if you got a husband or boyfriend who's men's size nine. Snatch them up. Ugg, because I feel like we're in Minnesota, Uggs are all you find. Apparently they are missing that like tie drawstring. I got little But I thought, I thought that they were just supposed to be like that, but whatever. <laughs> These are a woman's six. Just keep I'll rolling send, with these shoes. I'll send the cord if you buy them. Um, another person who said she's seen our videos handed me the second one of these because I only <gasps> found one. Oh. She did not say her name and she, she called so me Ryan. Sweet. But yeah, still, okay. thank you for watching us either way. These are Lucky Brand and thanks for the Lucky Boot. These are Lucky Brand. These are so cute. Like I say, Lucky Brand boots are a bolo. Size six also, so you can buy the Uggs and the Lucky Band Brand. I'll give you a bundle discount a bf a pff discount and my fifth item. item so weird we went to nordstrom rack with my mom the day before we went to the bins did go to nordstrom and she like nordstrom found these rack. purses so or these little, little clutches it. that look just like this and she's like oh look at this cute ted baker i've never seen this style and if she hadn't just showed me these the day before i probably would have just looked over it but yeah it's a ted baker French bulldog print on the inside, so Jack's cute. Jack's entire family is obsessed with French bulldogs. And pugs and them. Boston Terriers. No, we're obsessed with Boston Terriers, but French bulldogs are like the same thing. Okay. But I like pugs more anyway, so. Okay. okay, my top five, my two Poshmark home items. This might stay in my closet, not in my closet, in my house. Look at this adorable <laughs> little needlework. Some, I imagine some cute little grandma doing this is like a nice little decorative dish towel for her retirement home kitchen. It's so cute. This because I got things and I need things to put my things in. It's this really cute little basket. Might list this, might not, it depends. It is really cute. Uh, this is for sister because she's a t-shirt queen. Um, it's Black Sabbath. Todd, my dad would not be very happy about this because he does not like Ozzy Osbourne, but that's fine because I do and I support her. Uh, it's just bravado, size, mm, small. Um, next, for Todd, speak of the devil, I got him, he, okay, so... Todd is his dad. Teeny tiny side note, my family's really Norwegian, and my grandma talks about it all the time, so it's just kind of bled into, like, my dad. So he loves anything, you know, Scandinavian, Swedish, Norwegian. This is, it's a Norwegian sweater. And when I Googled it, it's an offshoot of Dale of Norway, which this doesn't make sense to anybody but me and my family. Um, they make really, really, really expensive wool, handmade Norwegian sweaters. And I sent a picture of this to Todd and he said, <laughs> yep, thank you. <laughs> he is very excited that he does not have to spend $300 on a sweater. This is for Janet. 
My mom. My mom. So uh, gift for everyone in the family. <laughs> she loves these little bagalini bags because she unfortunately has to carry her cute little iPhone 5 and then uh, everybody just goes, oh, here, put this in your purse. So she got plenty of pockets. Janet likes a good traveling bag. She really, really, really did. Bagalinis and long chomps are her go-to. We are in airports frequently. You know, got a lot of storage for her to put all her things in and then all our things in. Continuing on okay. gifts. That was too um, long, sorry. Sister, <laughs> if you want sweet. this, comment and let me know. Ryan's sister. We will get the comment that just it says is, yes. It is like an XL, <laughs> but I mean, I don't know if you're on that like oversized train. It's bravado again. It's Guns N' Roses. Or else I'll sell it because she can, just it. can do okay sometimes. Mm -hmm. This, I think, was the only free people I found in the bins. Obviously, it was from an actual Goodwill at some point. They had it at seven bucks. It's a small. I would have paid seven dollars. It's this really cute. cute. It's a mini dress, not a tunic. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like a tunic. It's this like was literally one of my favorite finds. Oh, not I'm a brand so that I would usually be super nice. excited it's about. So cute. Soft surroundings, size medium. Was at a Goodwill at one point. I would have paid six for this. Look at this oh, thing! Oh my, my gosh. gosh. It's like this kimono robe with this just beautiful floral print. I imagine some very wealthy woman wearing this to the mall. Wealthy. Wealthy. I especially wealthy. like this like edge where it's like a mix of the two colors. Yeah. Super cute. That hem's really cute. And it's literally like new. Like it just it feels steam. like it's like never been worn. Um my one Eileen Fisher fine. Eileen, Eileen Fisher woman. Her. Size one X. Oh, it's plus size. Cool. Okay. Um, boiled wool. Actually, well, boiled wool. Oh. Someone once got mad at me because I sold something that wasn't boiled wool, but I called it boiled so wool. I'm not a freaking wool expert. This is <laughs> decently rough. It's a Michael Kors. I think we these are what the jet set tote. No, jet set totes. I think it's an Abbey. It's pretty if dirty. Memory does but so I right. haven't tried cleaning it yet we'll see you know it's always good to get a nice project keep you busy when you got nothing to do which yes we still have a redying video coming ryan's gonna redye a fossil i for got you guys. many of things i need to turn so, black that are not. just wait it's okay we're trying to figure out how to do it <laughs> it's complicated um okay so let's dig in here get your forks ready kids okay this they look big they are which is nice um, these are UGG. I did not know these were UGG until I looked at the bottom and saw UGG. Um, these are a size... Logo with a feather? I have no idea. It, it must be a new one. Um, they literally have never been worn. They still have a tag sticky on the bottom. Um, they are women's size 12, which I see on Poshmark Instagram. I call Pinsta. That no, we call them thrifta. Thrifta, pinsta. What the hell? We, am I you talking literally about? never said that before. We always call it thrifta. I think I just had a memory lapse. That's fine. Anyway, uh, they have the side zipper, and they see all the time on thrift so There we go. That um, all my big footed friends need cute shoes. So I'll hook you up, girly. Cute shoes. Okay, this is from the bins. This does need to be a teeny little bit clean on this like velvet strip. It is Anthropology Saturday Sunday. And it says fun, like high low sweater. With sweater the, weather is a coming. It's people like prepare a, early. They do. I already bought one of my All sweaters. All the consignment for fall, stores are so. already taking sweaters. That's fine. Okay. Um a hint. As soon as consignment stores start taking certain styles, start you trying to find them. Okay. There's one girl at the bins that I really don't like. She's like a kid, and I beat these. I beat her to these, so I'm very proud that I have them. They are Birkenstock, size kids? 35. No, they are women's five. They teeny, um, but they're the like ankle. They're like a navy blue. Which is cool. They are kind of cute, and she doesn't have they're them. They're in really so. good condition. <laughs> yeah, I just need to kind of like wipe up the back a little bit, maybe wipe up the footbed, and we'll be fine. Is that five? One, two, three. 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 Okay. Lightning ground for shoes. New with tag. A pair of Toms. Sneakers. Women's size nine. Super cute. These I got because I got a soft spot for old lady shoes. They are Reebok. Mm. I call them grandma sneakers because my grandma has these sneakers. But they got this fun little like 
glittery back on them. They just need like a good old magic eraser. We'd be in business. These are a size, I have no idea where the sizes are on Rebox. So while I keep digging, Jack with the weather. <laughs> okay, this is Joe's jeans. Super high rise, distress. I, I never, and skinny. I never ever, ever sell Joe's jeans. But these are on Revolve. So I'm gonna try them. They were originally like 200 bucks, which I know Joe's jeans are expensive. They just usually don't resell. They're like seven for all mankind. It's just, they don't do very good. I don't know about the this, dojos anymore either. No. This is Zara Knit. Zara Knit. And it needs to be deep pilled, but again, mm, at the bins. Sweaters. Yeah. Okay. This is definitely something I wouldn't usually get, but they are to die for cute. So oh, I did yeah. it and they're new with tag. Yeah, I hope. This is a jumpsuit. So mm -hmm. effing cute. With a cool out pant. Wild Fable, which is just Target, size small, but it's so cute. I mean, like, can I get something for it? Maybe, because they're so cute. It's not. And I am saying like they, awesome. because. There is more, there is one. There's another one, it is warm. different, but it's also new with tag. This color, though, like. That's really pretty. I wish 4th of July hadn't happened already, because you could be a flag. <gasps> size and not medium. Look like a flag. It has a keyhole key opening one. here. I don't know, they're just so cute and they're new with tags, so. Wicked cute. Yeah. Just love fuzzy on things. Oh, this is so cute too. A lot of like brands I'm usually not excited about that I'm excited about. Banana Republic, as you know, Ryan and I, like every once in a while get Banana Republic. This was one of the ones that deserved that. It's like a wool sweater and look at the little clinking champagne. I glasses. mean, you want to wear this to a passion sip? So cute, and that would be sweater adorable. season, we cannot repeat it enough, is like basically she, here. It, what, so, isn't there a... That's a size small if you want it for a posh and sip. Please do. Mm, should be listed by now. There's a Game of Thrones thing that says like, or winter is coming. Yeah. Is that Game of Thrones? Yes. I don't know. I'll just say that. I've never watched it, so like... Same. I don't, I haven't either. I don't I get it. There's too much. I've heard people try to explain it to me, and I'm like... Oh, oh my god, it's my turn. What am I doing? Okay. This, I didn't really remember that I got. Um, it is new tag, Ralph Lauren. I literally don't ever pick up Ralph Lauren, but it had a $129 tag on it, so I'll figure it's out something. It's like a reoccurring theme that we just got. A lot of brands that we to kind of really, test out. Yeah. Uh, size small. Cute little, like, knit tank top. I have heard through the grapevine that Ralph Lauren does good on eBay. If you have any experience, uh, if you have any experience, uh, please hit my line if you will, or let me know. Okay, these are Fabletics. Um, I know the name of them. I just can't think of it. Plain, kind of like they're a little more blue on camera. They're kind of like a like a teal in person. Cute. I was not you in the face there. Sorry. And these are a size medium. I don't know why the are Fabletics tag is like a receipt. A rec I don't need a. I don't need a. Not Costco. CVS. CVS. The receipts that are like joking, like literally sarcastic. Like painfully long. too long. They are high rise. Okay. Um, going back to, I really don't get this brand a whole lot. This is a Banana Republic or Nanners. As some people refer to the men. No one. <laughs> Children. It is this really cute, um, I almost called this a peplum sleeve. Wow. A bell sleeve sweater with the like, little cutouts and it's on a really it. Cute it's this really it's pretty lavender, lavender purple. Um, I was very excited to, is this cropped? No, oh no. my God, I'm gonna have a panic attack. Um, I dropped this, size small, by the way, uh, in the bin and I was like, oh my God, there goes my sweater. Bless, I was able to go back and grab it. So if you are a Banana Republic fan and you're size small, we got two things for you. Okay, not the season, but all the style. Good old pair of Levi 550 cutoff shorts. Just basic little cutoff shorts. And these are a size 11, but they are not a size 11 anymore because that's the vintage size. Speak of the devil, we got one more, but these have been like rolled, rolled or stitched or something up. So they're really cute. Uh, these are <clears throat> 501s, I'm almost positive. 
They are. And they say seven junior, but these are not seven juniors. Okay. Okay. No, so sorry. continuing on, if you watched the last haul, continuing on, if you didn't, go watch it. I'll link it below. I suddenly cannot get away from the vintage, like true genuine vintage Calvin Klein jeans shirts. We found these They're like literally made in the Northern Mariana Islands. Tell me the last time anything was made there. I don't know where the Northern Mariana Islands are. To be honest. Not crap this time. And this one's not one size, it's medium. So I'm like thinking I should open a Depop and put those on there. Oof, Depop. Depop. I don't really I like, like Depop, but this hey, really cute. It was dirty and I washed it. Seems to have completely cleaned up. Maybe a few spots I'll have to point out. Need a little detail. It's a woman's <laughs> large. Really cute though. And it has the, I don't know why I didn't say that. I have one of these, and this like canvasy part on the shoulders is so nice. Yeah. It's so soft. Um, Bolo brand that we said in the last Bolo video. Fast flips. This is Spanx, and it is a Spanx. size I. What in the hell? I think it's a lowercase L. I guess. I don't know if you guys that saw that, would, but... Mm, okay, if you're a Spanx queen, <laughs> help. Um, <laughs> just a black, like, kind of peplum, if you want to call it that. Like, under... A little tank or topper. But I looked it up. Someone had sold it for, like, 40 For that? I'm like... I did Spanx, not realize stop. Spanx was expensive as it is stop until it. I saw it at the mall. And one of the tank stop tops it. was, like, $80, I said. And... Oof. This, this is cute. It's weird how the like slip always kind of shows. I don't know. Once I it's on, like, it probably wouldn't. I feel like when you wear it, they kind of Club you know. Monaco, size 4, 100% silk, really cute. Is it a dress? Was it a tunic? Uh, I think it's a dress. We we'll put it on Smith Oh, wait, happens. one more thing. You that was only four. Cute. It is a Michael Kors yeah, fanny pack. Yeah. And it had a weird kind of gold metallic lining that was really nasty. Fun so fact, I just took it anymore. out. <laughs> not anymore. So now it's in really good shape, actually. Mm -hmm. um, the only flaw would be some like slight peeling here, but no one gets it's not that. actually like peeling off. It's just like kind of peeling. It's a size of medium. Synthetic leather. How oh, weird. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's cute. Okay. At the bins, why would you skip that? Exactly. Okay, these I was very, very, very happy to find. I have washed them and they need a teeny, teeny, teeny little bit of a lip roll. By that I mean, I need to like go at them with a lip roller. They are, Lu I literally took me 10 years to find this size tag. Lemon, like, Lu 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 uh, they do have a little bit of wash fading, but like that's not the end of the world. These are a size two and bless that they still have the pull tag and bless also that they're a jogger because uh, I'm about to make some money. Okay, I feel like I go to the bins and find these all the time now. They are these Love Your Melon. He literally finds them like <laughs> all the time. Um, I'm not too sure about the ethical practices of Love Your Melon, because they allegedly give a lot of money to cancer research, but I don't know, hopefully. Uh, this is, well, that's a sleeve. That's a hood. Here's a tag. Okay, this is Athleta, size medium. It does have this like, Big old cow. cow neck. I think it's supposed to be like a hood because it goes up. I Short mean, sleeve, kind of like workout top. The, oh, sorry. There's the little Athleta doodad. Size medium. Um, these I snatched from that same little girl. Really don't like her. Okay. These are size 28. They're rag and bone. Um, they are these really distressed shorts. And I am gonna have to do a little more Googling, oh, sorry, about the name, because I'm not 100% sure. Okay. This, I thought was super cool. It's a vintage, like, Lee, like Wrangler by Lee, size medium, a Bulls sweatshirt, and I know Bulls stuff is pretty popular, so I decided to pick it up. What year did you say it was from? 1991. So this sweatshirt is literally older than both of us. <laughs> Which is by great. quite a bit. <laughs> by about seven years. Okay. Vintage coach. Cute. Still has the hang, hang tag. Hang. Um, a little dirty. Whatever. Not too bad. Um, mm. 
this I can't decide. I think I'm gonna try it and then maybe end up bringing it to a consignment store. It is soft surrounding, size large. It's pretty. Mm. <laughs> this, another brand that I would never do, but I'm just gonna try it. It's Gap. It's with the like. It's really cute. It it's really pretty. Another brand I would never get, but I'm gonna try it. It's seven from mankind. It's a <laughs> it super new how it's nice. Yeah. 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 Super new tag. It's this floral, it's called like the mystic floral print. Mystic floral. Um that's fun. I see people sell floral seven from mankinds for quite a bit. Size 30. They're cute. It's pretty high rise and it's skinny, so I mean maybe. And my only asterisk. I'll put it here. I found two Lou Lou lemons, and one of them is now one of my favorite bins finds of all time. It is, Insert picture here. It is staying in personal. It's for room. me, but I left it in Minnesota, so I can't show it to you. But this is probably a better view of it, anyways. Double-breasted blue Lululemon like trench coat. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. I wanted to cry. It's for me. It's a men's and it's large, so it looks good on him too. Here's my other Lulu layman. Her Astro. No, I'm gonna say Astro Crabs. I don't know what these called. Um, there's the other side. Astro's like crossover. Lu these ones like just go straight. Are they the groove? I don't know, but Top Lulu. This obviously is like an out of style style. It's a boot cut, but on Mercari, shockingly, kind of shocking. Um, they still do okay. Oof, Mercari. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Is it mine? Okay. Yeah. Um, I got a few more pairs of shoes. Oh, I had a panic attack when I found these. They are these wicked cute little booties. There's a teeny, 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 tiny little mark on one side, and these are free people. I've never found free people shoes in the bins. Same. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but there we go, free. Uh, these are a size eight, and these probably were somebody's like, I'm gonna say like graduation picture shoes or some event because they didn't ever wear them that much. Next, I found this pair of flippity floppity sandals. They are men's size 11 and a half, and they are a fry. I didn't know fry made. They are literally like they've never been worn ever. I didn't know fry made sandals, but they're all leather and they feel really nice. Like, how could someone buy that, not wear it once, and just, and just be like, well. mm. <laughs> trash? I'm not mad. Okay. Uh, this is a cute little Zara basic romper. I don't really know what's basic about this, but that's fine. Size XL. Uh, little shorts like that. Next is another Zara piece. This is not how this is supposed to be. It ties up nicer than that. I just didn't want to lose the belt. Uh, <laughs> it's a size small. I kind of like it. I think it's kind of cool. It needs a steam. Mm. Oh, it's bad. It's a skirt, but it's like open. I didn't realize that until right now. That looks a little more correct to me. I don't think you'd want it right over the front of you. Be a little problematic. Okay, this might be going to my grandma. Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> Lauren Ralph Lauren, size small, and it's a silk monograms pajama top. She only wears Loren Ralph Loren, as she likes to call it. So Same with my grandma. That might go to Maryland. Um, this Ryan didn't want, so I got it because it's at the Bins, so why not? Yeah. It is Club Monaco, size small. This is a, it's called Bear Dance. And that I looked up and it is a Dolls Kill brand, I which mean, looking at this, not surprising. It's Velvet or velour or satin, if you will. This is old J. Crew. I might try it. It's pretty cute. Maybe, but I never, ever, ever, ever sell or get this tag J. Crew, and you shouldn't either. But it's wool and angora rabbit hair and cashmere, it's and it has a lot of like details that are apparently hand sewn on. When I looked it up, how do you hand sew? I imagine the part J. Crew woman who's just like. <laughs> like frantically beating all these gray sweaters. These are really cute. Well, I think these are Zara Trafalic uh -huh. and these are size six. These are so cute. cute. Stressed, uneven, kind of 
distress him. Looks like she even put through a paper shredder, but that's okay. And continuing on from the last video with the blank NYC. We trend, never found any of these. Another Not 26. Kind, like, so if you like blank NYC and you're a size 26, I now have three jeans with your name on it. These are really cute. These ones, bins finds, unlike the other ones, which were consignment shops, but. Probably paid about the same for them, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Um, ooh, look at me throwing stuff. This is Club Monaco, size small. It's this really cute kind of tailored, uh, collared blouse. Okay, next we have a very nice woman handed these to me. They are Lululemon. Um, they need to be a little taken care of, but that's okay. They are a size two. They have, or they used to have some sort of Hello. print up here, but they do not anymore. Hmm. So, interesting. But they're not, like, both not, are uh, wide. Or no, they're... they're just a cute little crop. So, we'll figure out something to do with them. She was nice, and I'm not gonna turn down. She just said she doesn't do them unless they're, like, like new. And I said, okay. I'll take trash. Exactly. <laughs> um, this, I did not think this was, let me think about this sentence. This is not what, this is not what I thought it was. I don't know why I need to think about it. Okay, it well, is. Be a teacher. <laughs> I'm gonna be an art teacher, I'm an English teacher. As I say continuously, I am an artist, not a linguist. Okay, this is Athleta, size small, and it's this That's like. really nice. Big ol' coat. I thought it was gonna be Lulu when I first grabbed it, and I was like a teensy bit disappointed when I realized it was not. But I'm not mad because it's Athleta, and we love an Athleta queen. Okay, these speak to the yee yee part of me, the dilly part, if you will. They are Rock Revival, size 30, the Celine Skinny. I have not found a pair of Rock Revivals in forever, but I'm glad these aren't the like heavily like bejeweled ones because that would have been really heavy. Okay, next I have a few more, so we'll do this. This is for me because I think it's cute. It's, it's Target, Neiman Marcus, and Carolina Herrera. I don't really think this is like worth much. Some but of like, the Neiman Marcus look at all these little though. people. Oh, they're so fun. That's so cute. So I'll find something to do with it. I'm gonna put receipts in it. Okay, this is in extremely good condition. It is a Dooney and Burke crossbody. Authentic. Dooney, and Loki has... does really well. The little Dooney tag, so it's real. I've never seen that kind of clasp on it before. I know, it is a weird clasp. It's cute though. These, unsurprisingly, are Anthropology. It is AG, the leggings super skinny, and they are velvet. Velvet. Velveteen. And they are size... 28. Good size. This is really cute. It is a Zara, again, basic, but what's basic about this? I know, I don't know why they call it I don't really get how they decide what goes it's to not. what line. Um, floral, like lace crochet type thing. Cute. This was gonna be for me, but I know I probably wouldn't wear it too, too much. It is this Nike super long, like men's tunic, I'd almost call it. It's cute. Or like one of those new like long line tees. And then it's the brand that I don't always get, but it is in the bin, so duh. It's Prana Extra Small. It is wool. This it has is like, this like drawstring at the neck. I don't really know what that does. This and it's is like rare apparently. Yeah, like I looked a, it up and it's, it's apparently a, a pretty sought Prana. after Prana because people sell it for like 70. I didn't know there was like blogger favorite for but, Pranas. Yeah. But that's okay. Okay, I got two more. And they are very, 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 very good. Okay, this is Vince size medium sweater. I have no idea what this is made out of. Um, it has this like really pretty like cable knit design on it. What is this? It's really soft. It, oh, awesome. The world may never know. <laughs> okay, next. Oh, this is another good one. Last but definitely not least. I have finally found one. I see these all of the time. And they're those like really cheapy kind of fake mall brand scarves. This one is real. It is Burberry. Um, cashmere. Cashmere. It does need a little bit of work. Why? It's a little, there's some like, a f there's a teeny tiny little loose, few little loose threads on it. And it does need to be like a little bit pill shaved, but like 
for a four hundred dollar scarf. Like, I'm not mad. Paid less than a dollar for it, so I'm like, I'm laughing all the way to the bank. Okay, let me wrap mine up. I don't got too much left either. That's all she wrote. So, oh, that's right. I did find another free people. This one. <laughs> Um, is, this, is there a tag? It's free people. It's a silver tag. I just realized. That's I've never seen this. Do they? Very cute. It's really pretty. It's like, it almost looks like a scarf. Was like that's made into a shirt. That's what I thought it was when he showed but, it to me. But yeah, doesn't come up. Like I cannot find a model picture, so I don't really know what it looks like on someone. But it's really cute. Um, this is oh, Zara. This is cute. No style number or anything in this. No size either. It just says Zara Basic. So I'll have to do some measurements on her. And a little Google search. It's okay. This is Athleta. Really basic. I don't know. But like, it's in the bin stuff. Like, I you know. wouldn't pass up Athleta for like. This is bins. Athleta and this is not basic. No, and I'm really excited about this. Though. This is really nice comparable to like a um, scuba. Hoodie. It's got the oh, Athleta logo up here. And they put the little and on the brand back. tag on the back. That's cute. I don't think this had a size either. Oh, maybe it did. Is it on the medium? Okay. <laughs> um, this is interesting. I cannot let me get oh, a different angle. I cannot find a model picture for this either. This is shocking. Postmarked by Anthro. She got a cape. Well she got a trail. But it's or not no, a dress a because this is where it ends in the front, but it's like a little high low sometimes. That's a size extra small, but it definitely has a lot of stretch to it. Super, super soft. Ask and I shop. Yeah, it's just like I was say. looking for one of these so bad. I went to the outlet to see if they were cheap, and they, they aren't. They were not. But it's a obviously Vera Bradley backpack, perfect for school starting. I just sold one that was cut across the front for like thirty. This, this one, one has a pen mark and is a little dirty. But I see another thirty dollars coming, so I'm excited. <laughs> exactly. Two more. I did well. A note with this one. So I found this really nice North Face. Got the like nylon part to it. Small woman's cute. Really cute. I also it's not over here, but I found a North Face down puffer jacket. Yes. Where is that? Somewhere. <laughs> oh, she's but, hiding. And last, and again, one of my favorites, this really so cute. cute. I call it, I'd call it cookies and cream. A very accurate way to describe <laughs> that. Now that he says it, I'm like, oh, okay. Made well, extra small. And these always do so good. You can list them for like 60 and they get a ton of likes. These long like? duster cardigans. What is it like speckled? Yes. Originally, like is speckled. that the name of it? I don't cookies know. Cookies and cream. That but it's cookies and cream. It needs to be a new thing. And that's all. That is all she wrote again. Finally, we're done. She wrote But that. yeah, we went to the bins four times. So that's why there was so much. So, Kim, let us know if we did better than you. I know you got a bunch of quilts. Uh, so, I mean, it's hard to compare. She got some good shoes, too. Um, but yeah, it was nice meeting you, Kim. It was nice meeting you, Tara and Cheryl. Or yes. Tara and Cheryl. Hopefully, we can see you guys again in the future. Thank you. Kristen, come to the bins with your mom next time so we can say hi and I'll take a picture. We go to Minnesota all the time, so if you go to come the Tasca bins, like, let's say hello. We might Let's be there. It'd be fun. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Sorry we made this another long video. Hopefully, you stay till the end. And yeah, see you on What Sold Saturday this week. We're actually we will do in, one. We're in town. We're able Here to this film weekend. this time. We're not in the bins. So like, get a snack, get ready. It's gonna be a long one. So thanks for watching. Bye. Toodles.